How's it going everybody? It's Prod here, back again with another video. Usually I don't start videos in this screen, uh, but I am currently traveling to another world because there was just no one at Pontiff for me. I don't know why. It's, it's pretty early, so there wasn't a lot of people. Uh, so I'm going to go into somebody else's world and see what, oh, see, just see what's up, you know? Looks like a, a fight club is going on. All right, I'm going to get destroyed immediately in this fight club. So this is where all my people are at, dude. I have, like, no one in my world. This guy just has, like, a fucking party going on. Dude, leave some for the rest of us. I don't know if I'm good enough for this one. Ooh, a girl. <gasps> Maybe I'll cyber her. ASL? Question mark? Fuck you, I'm fighting next. Mmm, <laughs> I'm next. Okay, let's do it. The point is, he has a really quick weapon. Hey, this is one of the guys that I tried summoning. No buffs? Okay. But sure, he gets, uh... Okay, so I guess this is just, he's like, you know, no buffs, guys. No buffs. We're doing it all for fun. No pokey poke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You think bombs would be cool? Ooh. That was a, that was a hot tamale of a swing right there. All out, it looks like. There we go. GG, dude. GG. Oh, look at Artorias here. I don't think Artorias did that. Oh, wait. He said no buffs, right? Okay. I'll stick with the no buff. Let's do it. Wait. I wanted this at least. Got to take this shit on against Artorias, dude. Oh, man. I thought I could hyper armor through that. I guess not, dude. I was gonna do it. I was gonna hit him and try to hit him with that uh, reverse backstab, but I don't think it would have gone well. Did somebody jump down? I think I must have fallen. He was thrown. Dude, you got incredibly lucky with that first one, dude. Artorias, chill the fuck out, Artorias. That should be it. GG, Artorias. GG. The thing I don't like about Fight Clubs is that it's kind of an impulse sometimes, so I usually have, like, very little Estus. And we got some guy with the Karthus Curve Sword. Oh, he went, uh, he went something else. Yours, oop, oop, something's going on here. Uh, the Sideways Moonwalk, I think is what they call it. Hmm. He returned home. No ganking, bruh. Wow. What a, holy sh- What? What the fuck? What was that? Oh my god, that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. Oh boy. Oh, and he's gone. Like the fucking wind, he's gone, dude. I don't have any more Estes either. What do you have, a katana? Mmm, slam me right back down. What are you trying to do getting up in the air? You're not Michael Jordan. You think when this will hit him? I don't think it will. No! No hyper armor on that running attack, though. Oh, man. Onikiki and Ubernachi, man. Onikiki. Hmm. Just gotta be very careful now. Fuck! Hmm. If I would have had, no, I think I still would have died. If I would have had the little bit of health, because I did have uh, a little bit missing there. I'm not sure how much, probably around 100. Oh, well, GG. And maybe now they'll actually beat people. I killed some of those people and I said, hey, get out of here. What are you guys doing here? And now they're going to be putting their summoning sign down and they'll be in my world. I don't really like fight clubs. They're just not for me. Well, they're okay to practice, but going into it with like, five Estus and then just like being forced to fight if there's nobody else. It's not fun. Unless you have a badass host that like can actually fucking handle a couple of fights himself, then uh, it's gonna be a lot of fights where you have no health. Like that St. Biden video. Fucking half, a lot of those fights in the end, not half of them, were basically me with like a quarter of my health missing, you know, half of it gone. But uh, it apparently didn't work because there's still nobody. You know what, let's try this. Ooh, there's one. Hello there, buddy. What, what do you have? You have a washing pole? 
I love how he has a washing pole and a glaive, and then the, the washing pole is still longer than the glaive. That's pretty fucking incredible. Let's do it. Oh, man, I'm real surprised I didn't hit him, dude. Real, real surprised. You're gonna come right back? No! Just right out of range, man. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's not bad. He's being uh, real cautious here. That was real nice right there. I think that was real nice. That doesn't combo, did it? Like, I couldn't get out of it. He, like, hit me with the, uh, with the second hit, and I just couldn't get out of it. I hit this dude twice. Took a lot of his health. So if I hit him two more times... Fuck it. Break his guard. There we go. GG! Shmalamalaboo! Oh, man. I took a big risk with that third hit. Because, you know, if it didn't break his guard, for sh fucking sure, I would have died. Like, there's no way I would have survived that. Look at that health. By the way, I didn't really mention it right off the bat, but this is actually my very final Ultra Greatsword. I've gone basically through every single Ultra Greatsword in Dark Souls 3. Uh, the only one that's missing here is the... Oh, no, the Greatsword's right there. Yeah, but I basically use every single Ultra Greatsword in Dark Souls 3. And I do feel like you guys are probably going to be seeing that uh, a fair amount over the next probably few months. Because I'm kind of getting around the tail end of almost every single weapon class. You know, there are a couple of weapons that I just straight up have not used, like, at all. Because I don't really like them, you know, like the whips and stuff like that. But for the most part, I've used pretty much every single weapon. Or weapon class, I should say. Okay, we have uh, a mage here. Ooh, 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 you're not gonna backstab me with that. You're not gonna backstab me with no fucking staff, dude. What was he gonna do? Tickle me with it? GG, Kareem, v Vikma of Kareem. I don't know why. Whenever I think of a mage, like seeing a guy's fucking face with that headpiece that most mages wear is so odd. It just doesn't look right. It looks like it should only be worn by women characters. Is that sexist towards men? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, hell, I'm not offended and I have two penises, so... Now, I am curious, since we're probably going to start getting into that group of weapons that I've already used and maybe revisiting, what weapon would you guys want me to revisit the most? You know, I've done a couple already. I've done, like, absolutely most requested weapons, which are, like, the soldering iron and, like, the broken sword, like, the worst weapons in the game. And there are some that are also highly requested, I just have not gotten around to them. Oh, man. We got a long journey before DLC number two, and maybe another From Software game comes out. Let's hope we get another fucking badass PvP game in between that time. Neo's got a shot, man. It's got a shot, dude. Butt station. I don't really usually do that. Wow. How did his hits and my hits not get him? Like, nobody's hits actually connected. Ooh, that was fucking close, man. That was fucking close, dude. I gotta get away, dude. This guy's going kind of crazy. Yeah, and I come out with the first hit. First hit's on me. This day is coming up prod. It's coming up prod. I'm gonna get shot later, aren't I? Like, things usually go well, and then they go very bad. There we go. But Stallion. But Stallion 3. Creativity runs in the family, I'm guessing. To be honest, I mean, if you consider a name that I've never ever seen before, creative, then I guess you can say he is definitely among the creative people. You guys like that little necklace hanging off of my uh my neck there? Look at this bobbing around. What do you think is in there? You think that's a picture? You think there's a picture in there? There may be a picture in there. It's actually just a picture of him. And we're playing against Butt Stallion again, by the way. He was the only person there. I think another person showed up after I summoned him. Because I do have my uh, dried fingers on. Butt Stallion 3. I maybe shouldn't have gone for the second hit. Because I did lose a lot of stamina. But 
Luckily, I did get away in time to not get punished for it. Oh, that was a lucky fucking hit. I felt like he was probably out of range for that one. This guy's being very eager with that thing. Oh, no. I didn't mean to kick. You could probably tell I didn't fucking mean to kick, dude. Alright, I'm trying to fucking do that. I've tried it twice in a row, dude. Fucking didn't work either time. I'm gonna be honest, man. I really like this guy's play style with this Reaper. It's really fast. Ooh! GG, Butt Stallion, dude. Good game. I very much enjoy my games with Butt Stallion. I don't want to see why he gets his name Butt Stallion, though. Well, while we wait for uh, another person, might as well go ahead and uh, get some more of my Estus and my Human Pine Resin and my Dank Greens, because you never know when you're going to really need them. You know what? I don't think I did this in the beginning of the video, but here's everything that I'm using for those of you guys who are curious. This weapon is kind of a beast, man. Like, it has 530 AR when I two-hand it, but I've been noticing very, very consistent over 900 damage per two hits. So, it's kind of a fucking monster. But, you know, that is if you actually end up getting the hits. Which uh, uh, can be a little bit difficult whenever you have a, a really slow weapon. Oh man, and this guy is lagging a bit. Ooh, there we go. I gotta roll everything. This is a situation where I have to roll everything because I never know when he's going to be near me or not. Look at that. 588 damage. Imagine if I had the Leo ring. Imagine how much damage that would have been, dude. Did I not have the poise buff? Oh, man. I don't know when he's near me or not, dude. I'm honestly surprised that didn't hit me. He's going to try to parry my... Up oh, my God. I fucking knew it. GG Walter. Man, the lag was real on that one. It wasn't too bad. Like, I've seen... I mean, I've seen so much worse, but at least it's a fucking game. It's better than just standing there, looking up at the night sky, waiting to die. Hey, we got a Bloodshade with us. So we can expect probably either the Warden Twin Blades, Onikira and Ubadachi. Uh, let's see, what else? I'd say it's probably going to be Onikiri, uh, Warden, or Washington there he is. Hmm, what is that? I think that's one-handed Onikiri. Alright, let's do it. Bloodshade Colin. Why do you have the fucking Avalon, dude? Ah, shit. I honestly thought that my hyper armor would have kicked in faster. He's got them on roll points. Or on point rolls, not on roll points. So it is only Kirin Nobadachi. I fucking knew it. He doesn't have ble bleed on it though, which is surprising. Fucking 600 damage, dude. If I had a Leo ring, that would be like. That would straight up be like 750. Easily. Holy fuck, man. This weapon is an absolute monster sometimes. Holy shit. How have I not used this before? Firekeeper Pyra. Is that the name? I see the Llewellyn shield. All right, Firekeeper Pyro wants to uh, get right into it. Oh, you got a Faustian. Will Firekeeper Pyro try to uh, try to parry me? She's just kind of dodging everything at the moment. Can't see you. Oh my God, I dodged without being able to see you. I'm a fucking magician. Man, this guy's uh, a pro at rolling. Watch me scare him. Ooh, man, this guy is fucking on point, huh? Oh, I switched to a uh, way longer range weapon to try to get them pokes, man. He's got to get them pokes. We should do what he was doing, just roll everything. Look at us rolling. Oh, man. At least he, uh, he's very patient.
Oh my fucking god. This guy's a god at rolling. Ooh, mistimed it there, Firekeeper Pyra. Mistimed it there. Scare you a bit. Make you roll a lot of things, huh? Gonna make you roll in your fucking grave next. What are you gonna fucking hit? God damn it! Ooh, you almost didn't roll that one properly, did ya? There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you also a pyromancer? I see the pyromantic glove. Where the panic rolls at? Just barely enough. I'll take it. No! Mmm. <laughs> Man, that was fucking close to taking your head right off. Didn't want to backstab this guy. Poke. Poke didn't work. There we go. GG, Firekeeper Pyra. Firekeeper Pyra. That was kind of a... Uh... Kind of a tough one, man. I had to keep that guy under pressure a fucking ton because he was just straight up not really attacking in the beginning, just 100% rolling. And then he swapped to uh, the longest range weapon in the game. People like that are kind of hard to deal with sometimes because, you know, if you have an ultra great sword, basically every move is slow. Like there's almost nothing that you can do that'll be fast. So you kind of have to constantly be swapping between your right trigger attacks and your right bumper attacks and, you know, doing unpredictable shit. Oh, there we go. Hey, Loki. Dude, I loved you in the, uh, the Avengers. This guy's got a demon thing going on. The shit. Kind of did that one a bit prematurely, didn't I? Okay, I kind of, for some reason, didn't know of that. Oh my god! He actually got around me. Why am I still here? Why was I there? Why the fuck was I still there? Holy shit, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I thought he was going for a regular hit, so I'm like, why the fuck am I still here? Now he's got his fast weapon, which is a bit troublesome. Ooh, that one hurts, man. No, I fucking hit from that far. Good game, Loki. Man, I was fucking stupid. That is the first time I have ever, ever been hit with that weapon art. I still feel the pain from that uh, weapon art hit, but we continue on to play one more game, or at least one more win, and that'll be for today's video. Sven. Dude, I saw you. What do you, what do you think I don't see you? There you are. I fucking saw you, dude. He's using the uh, Undead Legion one. It's a good one, man. Definitely a good one. Ooh, get away from him. I'll hit again because fuck it. <laughs> we both went for three hits. Oh my God, dude. That was both of us hitting each other three times. Look at how much health I lost. And look at how much health he lost. He lost about a thousand health. I probably lost like 500 health. Because he was going for his third hit. That third hit honestly was fucking hilarious. Dude, I slammed him back down into the ground. But that is going to be it for today's video with the Cathedral Greatsword. Oh my god, this thing is a monster. This thing is absolutely insane. I can't believe I have never used this weapon. And I'm happy that we've gone through every single Ultra Greatsword in Dark Souls 3. I mean, there's not that many. And we still got a shit ton of weapons. Oh, we got a lot of weapons still. I don't think I've ever even used a fucking rapier. Oh well. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody.